Hey everybody, it's Michelle and welcome back to my channel, Mickey Lee Creates. And in this video, I'll be showing you some of the meals we had for the week, starting with sun-dried tomato with chicken and cheese sauce pasta. So all I'm gonna do is cut up, I think I used two breasts for this one. And as usual, I like to trim up my fat and take that off. Then I'm just gonna dice it into some cubes, put it in the pan, and then of course I'll season it with salt, pepper, garlic, Italian seasoning, my four go-to seasonings. And then I also use some of the Kenders, the Cajun Blacken seasoning. I love that stuff with chicken. It is so good. Now, the sun-dried tomatoes, next time when I make this dish, I will definitely add more into it. Um, the flavor was really good, and I, there were you could definitely could taste the sun-dried tomatoes, but I would have liked it to look like there was definitely more in it. See more of it when you served it up. But like I said, the taste was great. It tasted really good. And when I did make my cheese sauce, which I didn't show in this video, but of course that's just heavy cream, um, salt, pepper, garlic, Italian seasoning, and shredded cheese. I did add some of the oil from the sun-dried tomatoes into that cheese sauce, which really did give it a good flavor. But like I said, definitely next time I'll add more sun-dried tomato. And here it is all plated up. I just served it with some bread. Um, we didn't do salad or anything this night, just something really simple. But like I said, you can see where maybe some of the sun-dried tomato is in there. The flavor definitely was from the oil, but most definitely put more um, sun-dried tomato in. The next night we had chicken fajita rice bowls, hands down favorite meal of the night. Absolutely loved it. I think I did like two chicken breasts here, cut them up again, diced into, um, bite-sized pieces and of course um seasoned with i think it was well definitely salt pepper garlic i didn't put italian seasoning in this one i think i added some cumin and i had some fajita pasta or fajita seasoning that i put in to the chicken And actually, I said chicken. It was also steak. I didn't use steak this night. This is actually venison that we had in our freezer. But definitely, you could use um, a flank steak or minute steak to put in there. I just, we had the venison and I used it. And again, seasoned it up with the same seasonings that I did with the chicken. Um, then I'll just put them in there. Cook the chicken first because this venison doesn't take long. Probably three minutes at the most to cook. So as you can see, my chicken's already cooked. And then I'll just add the venison in, season again, let it cook for like three to four minutes, just until it's somewhat brown. I don't, if you overcook it, it's not gonna be very good. It gets very rubbery and I don't like that. So I would say maybe three to four minutes. I did not show me adding pico de gallo to the rice and also corn. Guys, I'm telling you, if anything you need to try 
this recipe. It was so good. And the pico de gallo actually absolutely knocked it out of the park. And I just bought that at Walmart. So on this night, we did chicken Caesar pasta. Now I've seen people do it like cold and they actually add the Caesar, not Caesar, the romaine lettuce and stuff like that. I, I don't do that. But instead for the dressing, well not dressing, the sauce is actually Caesar dressing. So again, cut up the chicken into bite-sized pieces, season it as I normally do, cook it until it's done. And then I use bow tie pasta. I really like that pasta. So I use bow tie pasta with this. And I actually think I had a little bit of bow tie pasta, so I had to use some rigatoni. So I mixed two pastas together, but turned still turned out great. And then once the chicken's cooked, the pasta's done, then you just drain the pasta, add the chicken. And then coming up, you'll see where I'll add Caesar dressing and um, cheese to it. And I'll layer it, but you'll see that as it comes up. And here it is, guys. Again, like I said, I had the bow tie pasta and the rigatoni, and I just served this with the side salad. Um, we didn't do bread or anything this night. And it looks very similar to the sun-dried tomato or sun-dried pasta one I did, but that had cheese sauce and this had Caesar. And I will tell you, the chicken Caesar pasta is a huge hit in my house. And I didn't show me making this because I figured it speaks for itself. It's just a Cobb salad. I bought some chicken tenders, um, already bagged, heated those up, diced some ham, threw together some romaine lettuce, some spring salad mix, some cheese, bacon, and um, hard boiled eggs. And that was it. That was dinner that night with two garlic knots that we had. It was easy, simple, but really good. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.